Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts. And in the last video, we showed you the inline entity to be able to add products really easily to our product display. So this is great, but how many websites do you go to that just have a select list with two options and a price and you know just the product name? Well, not too many, right? So we need to add a little bit more to make our products seem more like a store. So typically products have images, and since these are two separate products, we're gonna have two separate images that change just like the price, and we're gonna have a description that changes as well, describing the individual price or the individual products, and then we're going to have a global description that's on the product display itself. So let's get started by adding some fields to our product. So we're going to go to store and then products, and we're going to go to product types, and we're gonna click manage fields on our product uh, product type. Keep in mind that if you were building this store out, you'd probably want to have this be something different, right? Like a product type is something maybe like a t-shirt or a computer or something that's going to have these fields. Since we're using the default product that came, uh, that you know, that came a basic product type just to show, it's called product for now. But the product type is where you actually have your product types. A similar to in Magento when you have attribute sets. An attribute set is essentially a product type. If you're not familiar with Magento, just think about product categories that have unique options for them. So we can click Manage Fields, and we're gonna add a field that is, uh, and this is going to be description. It's just going to be a text area, so a long text and we're gonna tuck this up above the title here, and let's click save, save this field. Okay, I don't need to add any descriptions. Uh, and let's add an image field, and we're going to add an existing field that is field image, and we're just gonna call it image. If you don't have an existing image field, add a new one and have the uh, field type be image. I'm gonna slide that up here just to make the order seem a little bit better. And I don't need to modify anything here, but uh, if you're familiar with Drupal, then it should all look from you know normal. If you're not familiar with Drupal, go back and watch some of our Drupal 7 videos. They explain a lot just about the general philosophies around Drupal. And uh, that's actually the best part about Drupal Commerce is if you know Drupal really well, you can get it to do pretty much anything you want. And, uh, and it's, it does the hard stuff for you while giving you the possibility to, you know, totally customize it. So, um, okay, so now that we have these things, let's add these uh, options to our products. Now we can actually do this from our product display because if you remember, we have this inline entity field, so we can click edit. And now if we scroll down, you will see if we click edit on any of these products, we can now add the description and the image directly from our product display. It's just so incredibly handy and s such a nice way of making and editing products. That way you don't have to go make a product and then go make a product display and link them up. You can just do it all from one window. So we can just say, um, I should grab some, some lorem ipsum text or something just to dump in here. Okay, I grabbed a very short paragraph here and uh, I'm gonna choose an image. I have something probably on my desktop that I stole from Google Images. And since this is going to be our level up t-shirt, I just have this white t-shirt that I got from who knows where. And I'm going to update the product. Now I'm going to edit this long T and I'm going to give it another description, but I'm gonna make the description obviously different so that we can tell that it's been edited. And I'm gonna choose the long-sleeved t-shirt image that I have also gotten from Google Images. And let's click Update Product. Cool. So we now have our product with our fields. And you'll notice this inline entity even add the image here, but not the long text description. How cool is that? We didn't have to do anything to tell it to do that. Okay, let's click Save. Okay, so we now have our product display. Here's a big ol' image and we click that and it changes to this other t-shirt just like that. Okay, so let's come into our product display and modify the display styles for some of this stuff. So we can come to uh, structure, then content types, find our product display and click manage display. 
Now from here we can drag things around. We would obviously want the description to come underneath the product and to give it any more uh, formatting other than that, we have to modify the settings under product type manage display. That's fine. And now we also have this body text with a hidden label and this is going to be our global description. So actually I'm gonna put this above the product description. So our global description, then our individual product description, uh, then the price and, and then the add to cart buttons. Actually, I'm gonna put the image at the very top. And again, we just have the option of visible or hidden and it's asking us to modify these in the, the uh, manage display for the product type. So let's go ahead and save that now that we have them in the right order. Let's come back to store, then products, and then product types up here in the top right. And now for our product type, we can click manage display, and now we have more options, right? So we can have uh, labels. Obviously, we don't want a label that says image because that just seems really weird. And we can actually give this image an image style here by clicking the gear on the right. And now I'm just going to use this large 480 by 480 image style. I'm not going to have it linked to anything. I'm gonna click update. Uh, if you wanna learn more about image styles, we have a video on that for Level Up Touch that you can go and learn about how to make your own image styles. And for description, we can say whether we want this to have a label or not. I think uh, it might be nice for it to have a label. We could change that that what that label is in the actual product, and we would just want this to be default. So let's click save. Let's go to manage fields and edit that description label. So up here, we can click edit for description. And it's asking us for this label and description seems okay, but we could just call this, we could maybe just say product description. Description just seems a little blunt for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, um, I would probably look at other stores and see how they're labeling something like that. Okay. So we've added some things. We've modified the display for the product display and we've modified the display for the product itself. So let's click out of this and refresh. Now when we refresh, you'll see we have the image up top here. We have a product description. We have the price and we have the uh, this product label, which we should get rid of too. And then when we change this, it not only changes our description, but it changes our image as well. And that's happening because you've added these, these attributes to the product itself. Now, if you would add attributes to the product display, uh, they wouldn't change because there's only one product display here. So that's where Drupal makes that distinction and it allows for some really custom, customizable products. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna turn this product uh, selecting off here it's under the product display or yeah the product display manage display and it's just this label above i'm going to set to uh hidden and click save just because i don't like it refresh and it's gone also these images are two different sizes uh this one is 480 like we told it to be however the other one is 200 and something and that's not cool because it's not going to fit the box so let's change the image style from large 40 to 220 let's save that save again refresh all right now we have a little bit better of a uh, looking store here it looks a little bit more realistic now let's add the long description for the product that's going to be above the product short description so let's go ahead and click edit here and in our body i'm actually going to put like two paragraphs and just paste this in here and uh yeah filtered html sure and let's save this cool so we now have this long description we have an image we have a product description and when i change this our image and our short description changes as well as the price but the long description does not so cool, we've just made a configured product using Drupal Commerce, and you can tell that if you were to just now use some CSS or add some JavaScript plugins to make this look a little bit more like a store that you're used to, you could get pretty far with these skills alone in creating your products. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter, Facebook, or anywhere. Level Up Tuts, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, bye.